even thinking about the database of the notebook, to go back to the matchmaking example, because I think it's wonderfully concrete. Somebody has in their head the five single people they know that they can recall that might be good to matchmake someone with, you know, the Yenta of the village back in the day. (laughs) (laughs) But if you have a big notebook and you can write down everyone, suddenly your cost of storage went down dramatically and your recall got much less expensive and much more scalable. And then, of course, when you fast forward to today and you have Tinder and Hinge and these sorts of apps, it's all infinitely cheap, not only to store, but to input, to distribute, to incentivize people to load their own information to the database. There's just all these dimensions of cost that sort of collapse to make everything have less friction. Technology is what opens up whole new potential vistas on product market fit in just exactly the way you described, Ben. But if so, if you think of two step changes in value, that's the first step change. The second step change is okay, how much of it do I get to keep? That's the power step change. It makes that in some ways harder. That's the paradox because all these things that reduce friction are easily available to lots of people. And so your very ability to spin up quickly and make something happen and it seems very powerful may in fact be the very thing that makes it easy for a competitor to catch you. So that's one of the paradoxes that you have to be really thoughtful about when you look at power and platforms. 